Hello, my name is Alejandro with GSC, and today we're going to be taking a look at an advanced mate called the Linear Coupler Mate. So if you look at the slide shown here on the screen, the Linear Coupler Mate allows you to define linear motion between two components by using a ratio so that every time, let's say, component yellow moves one inch, component red moves three inches. So we're going to show you how to set up these components in order to apply the linear coupler mate. So here I have three cylinders and right now they're underdefined other than the blue cylinder which I'm calling here the large cylinder. Okay and all of these other cylinders fit inside of the large cylinder but right now the yellow and the red components are underdefined. So I'm going to go ahead and first add a concentric mate so that they all share the same axis. So I'll go ahead and activate my mate command. And I'm going to activate a cool little feature called multiple mate mode. And this allows me to create multiple mates by selecting a common reference. In this case, this is going to be my common uh, uh, axis that I want to mate to. And then I'll select both of these components. And you can see essentially it lets me add two concentric mates for two separate components at the same time. So very useful. Next, I'm going to section these components so I can actually see what they look like from the inside. And if I go to mates, I'm going to go ahead and lock my concentric mates. That way they don't spin on me, but here you can see they're clearly all, all these components are concentric to each other. And so next, I want all these com components to be positioned uh, or to share the same location. So I'm going to make the yellow and the red component bottom face be coincident to this face, at least temporarily. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my make command. And I'm going to activate that multiple mate mode again. And on the bottom, I only want to use this for initial positioning. So I'm going to activate this use for positioning only, which will apply the mate, but only for positioning. So I'll select this face as my common reference. And then I'll select these next two faces. And you can see that all of my faces are now coincident to each other, but they're not constrained to that location. Let me apply that one more time. So I'm going to activate multiple mate mode. I'm going to only use this for positioning. I'll select my common reference and then my other two faces. And then I'll select OK. And you'll see here that I can actually still move these components because I didn't actually apply the mate. You'll see that the mate doesn't show up in the mates folder. So I'll hit undo. So now that all my components are at the exact same location, I'm going to begin adding some limit mates. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my mate command. And under advanced mates, I'm going to activate the limit mate limit distance mate and for my mate selections I'm going to pick the bottom of the blue face and the bottom of the yellow face and here you're going to have to fill in essentially three inputs this is going to be your current location which is one inch this is going to be your max uh, travel which we're going to make it 50 and this is going to be your minimum travel which is going to be zero so this is the range that the yellow component that these two faces can move between each other. Um, so in here, you, you can obviously use these little icons here uh, to tell you this means max, this is the minimum range, and this is the current location. So typically, I like to use a current location just to make sure that it's the range is moving in the right location. So here, if I press 3, that is not the um, direction I want to move, so I can flip it. And then I'll change this back to 0. So this is just for the current location. Once you apply the mate, you can actually still move the component within this range. So I hit OK. 
And now you'll see that if I move the yellow component, let me hide the red one temporarily. If I move the yellow component, its minimum range says I can move it to the zero position, which is right here. And I can move it all the way to the max position, which is at 50 inches. So let's go ahead and show our red cylinder. And we're going to apply another limit mate. And for our mate selections, we're going to pick the bottom blue face and the bottom red face. And once again, our, this time our max range is going to be 100 inches. And our minimum range is going to be 0 inches. In our current location, once again, I like to use this uh, initially for determining what location the range direction is. So if I put 30, clearly that's not the way I want to go. I want to go this way. And then I could set it back to zero. So I'll select OK. And so now you'll see that the red component can move between the range of zero inches all the way to 100 inches. And the yellow component can move from zero inches all the way to 50 inches. Now, what if I want to make these move relative to each other? So every time the yellow component moves, the red component moves a certain distance. So this is where the linear coupler mate comes in. So we'll go ahead and activate our mate command again. And under advanced mates, this time we're going to select the linear coupler mate. And for my first selection, I'm going to pick the yellow face. And then for my select second selection, I'm going to pick this red face. So these are going to be the faces that are moving relative to each other. Here in the property manager, right under linear coupler, uh, you'll see that you can define a ratio. So that every time uh, the first component that I selected moves, the second component moves a certain distance. So we're going to set the ratio 1 to 2. So the first component moves 1 inch. The second component will also at the same time move 2 inches. So let's hit OK. So if I move my yellow component, You'll see that every time I move it one inch, the red component moves twice as fast. So the yellow component was able to cover 50 inches of travel, while the red component was able to cover 100 inches of travel. And you can always go back and modify the ratio. Say you want to make it 3 inches. So that Essentially, the red component is going to move a lot faster when um, the yellow component moves. So we'll hit OK. And let's check out the result. So now when I move one component, you can see here the red component reaches its location much, much faster. So this is an example of how to use the linear coupler mate. This has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching.